Hello, people of YouTube and other countries of where who in which they allow computers. Um, this I am Rob here again to do another Rob rants. You know, I've been a little bit of uh, kind of depressed lately. You know, there's it mixed things. You know, things that probably don't matter. Things that the fact that I really need a life big time. Uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, um, I'm not so sure about sometimes, um, so I just gotta come out here, um, just talk for a minute. I mean, with the entire world, because this is kind of stuff that could perhaps be affecting millions of people out there, and it's not just probably me, it's probably a quarter of the population, maybe. I mean, I don't know, I'm weird like that, I'm very weird, so... I just gotta talk for a minute. So anyway, what I've been basically saying here is, um, been just a little bit sad lately, uh, with, still, the thing goes on and on about constant crap on MJ's death. I mean, seriously, people. I mean, it was so emotional this today to see the morning and just, you, you just know that some of these people actually cared about Michael Jackson, and yet the media, the the news anchors and the camera crews and all that, all the, all those idiots out there, couldn't care less. And it's like, what, you know, what? And that's just kind of sad. I mean, usually I blame the media for a lot of things, but this is something that they have to take responsibility for, because you have to show show sympathy here. A guy who made probably some of the best music in their generation has died. What do you do? He, he I mean, it, it, back in probably the 80s, back in, probably in the 80s and 70s, all those people with walk rounds probably, I can guarantee that probably half of them had something Michael Jackson in them. I'm not kidding. And now look at all these people now in our generation, in the new generation of the 21st century. We all have Mike. We probably have Michael Jackson on our iPods and all that stuff. I mean, and what do we do? What does the media do? But they make him look like he was a bad man. <laughs> he was acquitted. Acquitted. I'm pretty sure I know what that means. I don't know. I'm stupid. And then there's a whole ton of other things that I'm pretty upset about right now. Uh, that and the fact that, holy crap, Steve McNair died? Some idiot killed Steve McNair. And I'm mad about that. Because that guy was an oiler. You guys may not care, I like a lot of old things. In fact, if I could make my room retro, I would totally do that. I bring in an old huge RCA TV, put a floor lamp, red thing, red chip recliner right here in my room. I do a whole ton of crap that would probably make uh, home buyers and uh, room designers go nuts and force me to change it. But I wouldn't because I happen to like that stuff. And another thing, I like old things. So, I have an Oilers Christmas ornament I ordered off eBay a couple of years back. I like old things. So I happen to like the Tennessee Titans because they were formerly the Houston Oilers. And I had followed Steve McNair because I thought he was really great. I wanted to play for the Ravens? I think he played for the Ravens, right? I still thought if, if the Ravens were playing, I'd probably root for the Ravens. You guys may not know about this, but I happen to freaking like football. I do like football. I'll show you all my Madden games if you want. I play a lot of video games. It Then that leads me to believe that I really do have no life. It's kind of true in a way. I really do kind of have no life. I have friends. But I don't have no any life. I have friends outside of YouTube and outside of the computer. And I cherish that. Those are probably some of my closest friends out there. And yep. Probably you know <coughs> didn't plan this. <coughs> didn't plan this, you know, allergy season. Keep my window open and stuff like that. You know, it's just you get kinda upset about this stuff, you know? I mean, the bad things that's going on in the world, all these people dying, why can't we just stop 
and have a world morning session. Or we sit and take about five minutes of our day to remember those laws in the past week. I really think we should do that. But I don't understand why we don't. We've lost so many great people. We've lost Ed McMallon, Farrah Fawcett, Michael Jackson, Billy Mays, uh, that guy with the first name of Carl, I can't remember his last name off the top of my head, Steve McNair. We've lost all these great people. Forgive me if I left some out, but I, we've lost all these great people. And it seems it's like one day we say, oh, well, we lost him. The next day we're like, yeah, you know, it's sad, isn't it? The third day's like, he died. He died? Uh, I don't care. You know, we sit there for two, for one or two days, and realize that this guy died, and then we just totally blow it off. The way I see it, we should at least have a public respects. I mean, it just makes me kind of sad. It just really makes me sad. And I don't normally get into politics here. I don't like politics. I hate them. I even made this for my crummy Rob, sh Rob show. Yes, I just probably admitted that the Rob show might perhaps be crummy. I enjoy doing it because I like to show people that I can try and be funny. You can just watch me try. That's why you watch the Rob show. If you think it's funny, thank you very much. If you don't think it, thanks for watching me try anyway. I'm not trying to bash myself here. I'm just trying to let you guys know what I think. Okay, I'm just... I've had a bad week so far. You know, it's just not been that great of a week. I mean, where I was? In the Midwest? I'm not gonna say where I live, heck no. I'm just gonna say I live somewhere in the Midwest. Um... We got so much snow... And... I'm not sorry, sorry not snow. I'm, see, I didn't prepare scripts for these things. That's why they're so bad. Anyway, well, we got so much rain for the 4th of July, I really couldn't enjoy that stuff. And then, you may not care about this, but for JD, I've been overrun by painting. They, JD Racing at Utahcause.com, go there if you want cool Enter 2K3 and Enter 2K2 stuff, trust me. Um, just, I've been a little bit overrun by that place. I mean, I enjoy painting, but when it gets to the point in which you kind of get sick of it, it's kind of like, uh, time to, it's time to stop. You know, and it just hasn't been that good of a week. I mean, it just started practically, but it's not been very good. You know, I wish I could uh, do a lot of things over, but you know, I can't. You know, I don't, I don't know why I'm talking to you. This, this could perhaps be a vlog, but you know, I don't know. And another thing, uh. Before my computer was when my computer was broken, I felt almost happy. But now with it on, I had so much stuff to do again, and it just didn't make me happy. You know, I'm just you know saying my feelings here. I mean, if you guys don't care, leave a comment. Rate one star. I could care less. Now, I'm not yelling at you guys specifically. And the week didn't start off that great either with Kyle Busch wrecking and then taking out two other of my favorite drivers, Case Kane and Joe Logano. And I'm not putting the blame on any of that. It's just race hard racing, but I'm kind of upset that they both crashed. So, they all, all three of them crashed. If you don't care, my three drivers are Kyle Busch, Casey Kane and Joey Logano. I like them both, but I don't think you care. So, well, thanks for listening on uh, this episode of Rob Rants. I'm not sure if I could call it Rob Rants. In fact, I'm going to title this as my first vlog. That's what I'm going to do. So, if anyone actually cared to listen to the whole thing, I uh, I thank you greatly. Thank you. Uh, see you some other time then. Later.